Hello guys, welcome to this video from To Alpha. In this video today, we're going to be looking at the top lead extractor. As you all know, I've talked about top lead extractor on my channels, so I will just want to go deeper on this software. Uh, this software is a very powerful software, and basically it has two features, which is extracting from keywords, and you can also extract from a website. But with these two keywords that the software has, they have uh, a deeper fashion of each features that you can make use to extract in large and targeted with specific emails addresses that you want. Okay, for example, let's say we want to be going for banks. That's our target keywords. Money, keywords. Okay, now when you eat this forward both thing to extract now you go to the settings box and from the settings box you can see this phone number picture okay but before we go on that go to the contact types from this contact types you can select the particular leads you want to get for example you can see if you want just phone numbers you can just uncheck all this and if you want just email you can uncheck this and uh, leave this open but for the first test i will click on all these four and apply changes i will not select any country i will just leave it that way to so extract like that so when you click on search now then the software okay if you click on yes take you to the settings again to apply your changes so you apply the changes now the software what it will does for you is that is going to extract on the social sorry on the search engine and get you leads based on this keyword that we just use the bank the money keywords that we use and it's just going to get you randomly phone numbers emails that are not targeted or it's just going to scroll and get you the info randomly okay so you wait for this and it keeps on extracting so i'm going to stop this now and make it more deeper for you to understand and be more targeted okay i'm stopping this okay stop okay yes now i'm going to clear this you can see it's just extract numbers it extracts emails though if you want to save this you can specify by just saving emails or by just saving phone number when you click on the save and you get this you can uncheck all those things and leave it if you just want to save the emails or you just want to save the phone number you can just uncheck everything and make your save okay i'm not going there now so i'm going to clear this clear the grid and uh I will clear the history at the same time. Okay. Now, what I want to do is this. I will go back in here. Okay. I will clear this list. Okay. Then I will still put them. I will go to the settings first. Okay. Now, what I want to do is to extract just emails. So, to extract just emails, you go to the contact types and uh, you uncheck all this and leave this box, just the email box, and click on apply changes. Okay. Now, I just want to extract emails from those banks okay from um, money okay now i want to be more specific if i hit the forward button like this it's just going to extract um randomly it's just going to extract randomly and it gets random email but to be more specific i can put my email domain that that, that i want to extract for example let's say i want to go for gmail i will just put the plus sign and put gmail gmail.com then here again i can put the plus sign and say okay gmail sorry gmail.com if i want yahoo mail i can just still put plus yahoo.com and here also i will put plus yahoo.com so once you do all this and you put so what you are trying to interpret to the software is that you want um, the software to extract these keyword banks and, and get those domain emails of Gmail, Yahoo. So it's going to get domain email behind that search. So when you click on the forward button now, and um, yeah, yeah, also you can pick your search engines country. Now this is international. It can extract from any country. You can go down and pick your country of your choice. You can us or any other thing that you want click it so i'm just going to leave it this way and click on the search okay will you like okay it said instead of searching okay okay 
okay now so you just have to wait a bit and the software will start keep up and you can see it's extracting right from gmail gmails only you can see so and you can see this yahoo mail too so it makes your 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 extraction more specific it makes your extraction more specific instead of just extracting random so let me just stop this and do something um okay yes so i want to try the filtering part so when you click on this filter so now you just want to filter out you can see don't show the contacts so you pick the, your, your your selection from this place and what do you want to remove from the emails the emails that you don't want to be seen then you apply them and you can save this you can save this and pick just emails so that's for the email part let's move to the phone numbers part if you want to extract the phone numbers i'm clearing this too okay so i will clear this list i believe you understand now keywords your keywords your keywords plus your domain your email domain.com that's that's the format okay as for the phone number part um let's say we are still going for the bitcoin also okay then i'll move this arrow forward then going to the settings then i will pick just phone numbers remove this now for the phone number filtering now you can pick the country you want it to extract from and you can see we have the extract mobile numbers and extract the landline numbers so if you don't want this you can uncheck this and if you don't want this you can uncheck this and leave this so but i'm going to uncheck this apply changes and i will search now okay now all that i'm expecting to get are just numbers adjust the numbers and you can see the numbers started coming up you can see the numbers started coming up so you can be more specific by selecting the country you want to um extract from and the rest like that so actually that's how the old things work just to make it more specific that's why i make this video so thanks for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed and you learn one or two from this so i'm going to see you next time